really. I want All right. Windows, yeah, some you, LPL. Like, can you get 4 a.m. Love it. Perfect. Uh, I think there's it's going to be great. There, I wonder if we're going to get a close series or if uh, RNG is just going to stomp. I feel like JDG always no somehow wins games. No no. I have no idea what's going to go on in, in this one. I mean, they're going to need uh, they're going to need Rise to hold down here or something. Uh, hope, uh, hope just wants to go next, guys. Guys, can we just FF this? Like, we're, uh, like literally, our bot lane matchup is unplayable and we're not even playing towards bot side. Like we could surely FF this. Surely, 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 surely we don't we don't have to play this game out. It's literally three plates at seven minutes. My God, what is going on bot lane right now? Holy! Why is Hope down 30 CS? Because he is playing a literal two v one lane versus a Karma Varus, and on top of just it being a two v one lane versus a, a Karma Varus, a full wave like he got healed on level one because missing uh level W. Oh my God, that guy Way is just griefing, and he wasted his ult. Nice. Yeah, that was just bad. Um, because normally what ends up happening, the reason why people are here. Is because generally you just have to oh, split no, the map no, when you are this far behind. This is what people call splitting the map, where essentially you're just trying to give them everything on the bot side of the map, and you take everything on the top side of the map. And the advantage of this is obviously you start trading farm 50-50 with your whole team, and eventually like things just even out. So you do this to a point where you are, we're like, okay, then you get level six, and maybe you can do something else. And when you split the map and you get Herald, then normally you can get like first turn or something. And even though you share it more ways, it's better than just. Yeah, you know, like losing the game. That tower is still fairly healthy in the bot lane. Uh, oh, it's gonna be a 4v4 uh, though. This They're is gonna go for the kind of rough. Fight. That's Hope dead and buried. They're gonna have the TP coming in from the right, so it's gonna be oh, another native 4v4. Remember, you don't have the virus here as the charm goes wide. Kanavi trying to see if he can stay alive. One more mantra. Man, imagine it if Wei just didn't JDG waste his ult before he died, if he just accepted death. Alive, so, Bin's doing something pretty smart here. He's trying to actually take blue on the map split. He didn't get it though. But that's generally really good for your top laner to do. Oh, they're just gonna five man mid. They have no chain of corruption. That's gonna be a nice little bit of damage already onto Gala, the big. Healthy man okay. is dead. They are trying to push it being one for one. Yeah, they get a plate as well. I just find it amazing that 369's chased at a bot lane. Oh, they're looking for more. Wow, that's a flash forward as they try and make down, take down this karma fight. Oh man. Oh man, this is just messy. Everything just went to sh I don't think they'll quite be able to get this tower, but just applying so much pressure here. Oh, he has no cleanse now. That should be a kill. Ah, that's a, that's pretty that's pretty good engage. I like that. Waze is trying to run away. Uh, his E was bad here. He's probably dead. A level 11 rise, kind of putting down some pretty decent damage here. He's going to try and turn it back just to get the stun off. Should be able to survive. Oh, my God. Shock blast. Scorch? Ooh, scorch? There it is. A little bit of scorch damage right at the end. And that's going to be the <laughs> It's literally dead. a scorch kill. Oh, my God. Send it to RJS. Send it to RJS, the f***ing scorch. Uh, Gaul is just dead again, by the way. All right, and Graves is maybe dead as well. They just don't have much damage here. I think I think RNG loses this. They just don't have the damage. For those resets, will miss the ever frosty trying to land the charm. He's looking for a good opportunity to make it work as Bin is dealing with hope as he tried to make this one work. The Kalanavi is almost dead, but he's on the backside. I mean, they, I, I, I don't know. They don't have damage here. This is such a scrappy fight as everyone's going, but when the whole thing's are lost, hope hey, it's, it's like I don't know these types of plays. This is like these are the types of plays where I just feel like it should be really obvious they're not going to have damage. I mean, I feel like Gala is in such a good spot, but it must be so annoying to play as an AD carry when your team is playing like this. Like, people are just dying before objectives. Like, you don't have your summoners. The fight's super scrappy or immobile. There's nothing you can really, like, do in the fight. I was actually thinking about that yesterday. How crazy is it that... Oh, my God. Wait, it's just over. It's just over. Yeah, game, this game is lost, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure JDG just, just randomly win now. They just go Baron and they just win. When I was watching man when when i was watching this weekend part of the reason why i was so negative about it is because it's like all right like i definitely think that g2 deserve to win but like where was the fight from the other teams also like 369 running it down actually might have given rng a chance to win this game maybe we have to talk about this game again because i thought jdg was gonna win and then 369 just got caught mid and now it's a baron but this is where JDG's oh my god, this is so he's just dead. We go, TV coming in, but oh RNG my god, they mistimed it. Oh go my god, they mistimed it, and Gala was in melee range. Oh wait, Mal dead. Gala got kicked by Kanavi, I guess. God, no way. Ah, it's tough. Who's a little bit isolated from the rest of the team. Bro, I, I really don't like the graves that people are going with. 
pulling them in different directions. RNG are struggling to keep it together. Yeah, and there is some good poke coming down from Gala, but... Oh, the ult comes in, but no charm connecting from Xiaohu, and now... That's a Dude, this game was so, like, hard to watch, KG to be honest. Confident. It's like, it's just, so, I mean, so if you look at these he games, this is why, this is why for me, I, I'm, I'm like, scared for MSI, for LPL. Well, I think that, so one thing I've learned is this, when a popular team wins, instead of talking about, like, how things are in actuality, you just have to, like, overly credit them. You have to be like, oh my god, like, they're so f***ing good, holy how impressive is this like that's the that's what you actually need to do to, to be able to then make any of the points you want to make you praise them too much they miss it now on this particular support whereas normally like i don't i don't do any of that i just say what i think you know but i think the way you have to dress up any of your like criticism is like wow g2 was amazing like they played perfectly 3-0 12-0 is like the most crazy run in history they're just like the best team in the world i don't think rogue played optimally though like you have to like do some like that which i just find like extremely cringe but here we go hp oh they actually got it varus got it burst it out and it's taken by the virus it only gives you a little bit oh kanabi kicks the karma here but maybe he gives his life no he had the ga so he's totally fine with that one and hope is aggressive hope knows how powerful he is he said you bully me in the early game now it's my time to shine double tp coming in they're going straight for the end and rng gala's in trouble gala is in a lot of trouble but he's got a lot of damage that's kanavi dead now you're only got yourself two people to Guys, defend there's a jace in your base there's a jace in your base with a rise as well they both tp'd in you have to try and get there somehow some way they will have been they have got the two auto attackers it's big damage here from rng but they've got a lot of minions played by hope Oh, I mean, that was pretty. I mean, honestly, God I feel like this game is really easy for Hope so to play. I think that Hope, like, There's got completely booty blasted. He walked well, up and, and going to be should have been game. completely f***ed in this game. And then he just kind of, like, he kind of just got a bunch of free kills. And then he ended up being strong. Because the wave is so close to the tower. Oh, Engage coming in bot. Yeah, they're going to go for it now as they can get the, a little bit of a grab of them to stop this engage from happening. The flash and cleanse has to be used by Hope as well as the cleanse from Gala who has the flash in kind. Missing now. May have Missing has flash. Summoners. They do not quite I mean, that's definitely damage. really good for JDG's bot lane. We didn't get to see it just dead. All in game one, oh my god, wait. Not quite I swear that knockback was longer than it normally is, bro. That Jace knockback, he knocked them back great. like... Yeah, I mean, 2,000 range. What the hell was that? Did I get offers the year I retired? Yeah, yeah, I got a lot of offers. I got five offers. I mean, I can talk about all the offers now. So I got an Echo Fox, like, didn't get an official offer, but they were like, we're clearly interested. They hit me up. They're like, are you looking to play pro? Apex was actually ran by one of my, like, IRL friends. So, I mean, they, they offered me to play for Apex, which then became Dig. Who else? NRG gave me, like, a official offer, which was uh, 12K a month. I talked about that during Breaking Point. And then the most interesting offer I got was Cloud9 offered me to go to Korea with them and fight for the spot with Meteos in season six. So that was when Rush, like they, they decided they didn't want Rush anymore. And then they were looking for a jungler. And then I could have went to Korea and competed for uh, the spot with Meteos. That was an option too. That was when Meteos had taken uh, like a one year break. So Meteos had taken an even longer break than myself. So it was that. And then who else, who else was there? There was one more offer. I'd have to look at all the teams. It was like a team yeah, that gave me an offer too i mean the, the thing was it was like it was actually more exciting to stream at that point than play pro because i had never like i mean i played pro for like my entire life i dropped out of college when i was 21 and then i was 26 and all i had done with my entire life is just play pro that was like my entire professional life so like when i started streaming and i started getting like i mean that was like when my youtube was like popping off and stuff and i mean i made more money than i'd ever seen in my entire life it was just like more exciting to stream and like try to actually make that shit work and like come up with ideas for content and do all the stuff i was doing it was more exciting to do that than play pro and it was like obviously just like way more money so even the echo fox deal or, or uh sorry the nrg deal which was the highest paying one was like nothing close to the money i was making streaming Yep, there it is. Dude, Bin is just getting hardcore well, camped and like, I mean, no one, no one's here to help him. I mean, this is like a weak side Jace the entire <laughs> game. He's been ganked yeah, the entire game. The How do you play? It's very difficult for JDG to deal with and critically hope still no flash. Here we go. They're going to try and go for it. There's a TP on 369. They're going to try and use it straight away. They turn off the tower and they've killed off Hope straight away. 369 is here and Yagawa's spirit rushing to the scene. We will see the Haymaker, but it's only to deny the inevitable as we now get more and more engages coming out. They will not be able to trade back. Or get my choice in hindsight. I mean, I only regret it if if I stayed playing pro, things would have kept on going well, you know? In reality, no, because like at that point, I actually cared more because I didn't have like, like, dude, I didn't have money before. Like, that's, that's the that's thing. It's really easy 
to like say now it's like oh like if i if i would have became a millionaire playing playing league of legends and i would have like made it to 2018 where the big contracts came in and i would have like still been competing like yeah bro if that's if that's how it was i would have definitely wanted to continue playing a pro but there's no guarantee right i mean also like you have to consider the fact that i i had no idea that like that salaries were going to randomly go up i i like, I, I had no idea that salaries would randomly go up in 2018 because literally when the league was more popular right like so, so season five i think was like the peak of lcs in terms of like popularity that's when people still had like a lot of hope um because season four worlds and a actually outperformed du and a was still like lcs was way popular than lec i mean they're both lcs at the point but any lcs was way more popular than eu lcs in season five and i was like damn bro like this is like the top bro you make it to the top of lcs you're getting paid 60k a year so so to me i just thought that that was what was going to happen for the rest of time i didn't think that the league would get less popular and sudden suddenly salaries would be 20x what they were i didn't think that it was going to be like oh if you're a top player in lcs you're going to start making like 1.2 million dollars a year or like 1.4 million dollars a year with no international success which i didn't see coming and the league becoming like less popular less fans like half the viewership as before it still doesn't really make sense to me when i think about it right so in my mind i was like okay like as a streamer you can make this much money as a player you're not going to make that you're like this is the, this is the this is the peak unless you like win worlds if you win worlds then you'll make a lot of money but how realistic is it that you actually win worlds? okay jace just one-shotting this guy what the f how does Jace do so much damage? Oh my god, that was actually clean. That was a clean f***ing kill, by the way. Alright, I like seeing that. Okay, maybe there's hope. Maybe there's hope. Well, actually, sorry. Hope's in lane, but like, maybe RNG can win? Carries are actually still good. Missing a stopwatch here. I think, I think RNG's trolling. Yeah, I, th I think I think the Wade just griefed the entire game, bro. I mean, they get top tier two, which is like not that bad. Oh, actually, they might not even get the top tier two. It's pretty bad from from Wade, dude. Wade is somebody. I mean, I guess that's most of the reason RNG is falling off a cliff. Is like Wade used to be one of the best players. Like like he won some games into Canyon that was like, damn, bro. Like you're actually good. Like the Olaf game into Udyr. You guys remember that game from uh group stage MSI? That was a really well played game. Big ol' Volley Bear, and finally Bin has arrived in this series. As I say that, though, we got the two big tanky boys. JDG have wasted enough of their they time. They actually just can't kill him. And Waze is dead again. And they're gonna turn it all the way around. They thought they had the kill. They thought they were able to kill the Scion, but it ends up being Oh so my god, that charm flap from Miguel into the minions the was disgusting. What the hell? I mean, they still kill him. But I don't know why he charm flashed instead of just flashed flash ever for us. Yeah. Uh, the problem with Yankos in the, like, actual GOAT conversation of like best junglers of all time way is just dead again bro way is just sprint to get every game man it's so tra tragic to watch the problem with yankos in the goat jungle debate is that it's very hard to find a time in league's history where you're like he's the best jungler in the world right now like at what point in the last like since like because he's been really good the whole time but at what point has he been the best jungler in the entire world i mean there's no like how do they kill anyone here gala has cleanse though and jahu just gets one shot love made is definitely better historically than yankos yeah I'm surprised that I'm surprised you're able to make it through that comment without the heavens coming down and punishing you for it. I mean, Kanavi is just smurfing on the Lee Sin. Maybe they go, maybe they ban Lee Sin next game. Who knows, bro? I don't know the, what the the draft strategy is because you just look so much worse as a team. That oh my god, wait, Jahu actually smurfed that. Yeah, I don't know what you what you do here. I actually have no idea what you do. I'm way on a flank here which I don't even think I like. Kanavi can heal off the dragon as well. Here we go. The They're looking for Kanavi. He's taken down to about a third of his HP, but he should be fine. They're gonna go in and try okay, to Okay, Way that. actually steals Way it, but he suicides for it. They just have to run now. Have to fight another day, or do they? JDG not happy to let this one just go. Bin gets himself over the wall with two the skies, but look at the damage coming in the middle. Oh Zeta my God! Gala did a lot there, but I don't think there's anything Kanavi. to. Yeah, it's just doomed, right? Over the wall, looking to see. Oh, okay. okay. Maybe it's not completely He's doomed. Maybe. It's gonna be down to the carries of RNG. Bin got kicked. He actually went in. He tried to kill Aphelios there. I don't think they can. He's just too damn big. And there's nothing they can do. Hope will eventually fall down. Gala is yeah, they be mid, right? out by Kanavi. Uh, I mean, they got Baron. I mean, it's 
10 seconds on way 10 seconds on Ming. maybe they can stop this I, I, they, they could probably stop this there's not that much damage coming in right how much damage he was able to get off with his feathers there and from what range like sure if Gala could just sit there and perma auto and he's on like three items yeah crit could be better but like i don't know if that's the situation here i don't know if he could play from range like that oh he, he didn't get the e or the w he got charmed out of it gg game's over just ff Missing will be taken out on the backside by just Finn. FF guys. Can they make anything else? Unwinnable. It's just pushing forward with the spirit rush, knowing how big he is, knowing how powerful he can be. I think this is a pretty risky end, though. Like, it's not super right free. Yeah, I mean, Gala's up, right? So, all right, let's see. The side of RNG, Xiaohu, is I mean, they kill Jiaohu, so I mean, maybe they just end it anyway, but like, you can see it's obviously not a, a clean one. RNG still surviving, though. RNG, Sion passive. Help Sion passive. Kanabi, Sion is good. They're trying to get out the Kanabi. It's going to be on Gala. He's pushing Okay, they, they, they don't end. They don't end. And they, they lose Baron here, probably. Yet. They right? will not be able to end. Oh. They should uh, be able to clear out these minions. Guess they can't Baron. Yeah, there's no way they can Baron. So right, they know they have to Baron missing. at all costs. Wait, yeah, they have to do Baron and they have to have been smite. The, uh, they have to have been TP to the Baron. It's the only way. But they're not going to get it, right? They're going to collapse They're going to collapse on them. They're going to say, hey, boys, how's it going? There's nowhere for you to go. Nowhere for you to hide. Is the old. Yeah, it's, I mean, there's no good decision here. Like, this is not actually, this is not like, this, is, this part of the game, like, you have no way to win, so you're just trying to do anything you can. Because as soon as they get Baron and Triple and him and they just walk into your base, you lose, so there's really, like, not a good decision here. I think TBing on the Baron, stopping the Baron is just the most safe way to end this game. I don't think you need to, like, make this uh, a game where you're just, like, throwing yourself at the Nexus over and over again. Because you gotta remember, like, they're gonna get Baron then. If you don't TP to the Baron. looking at a RNG got a reverse sweep. Yeah. They got to do it. Otherwise, uh, this is a bit of favorism. Now, Ben, this is... Got you cast. know your team are playing towards the bot side. Don't go for a trade. Here we go. They're going to get the flag. Okay. 369. They're going into Bin. Bin is ult. Oh, my God. If he got a good ult there, Kanavi's just dead. Kanavi actually griefed this so hard. If, if Bin just ults him like this way into the turret, I'm pretty sure Kanavi's just dead. He keeps him in the turret. He kind of knocked him out of the turret there. It's gonna be difficult. He's gonna try and maybe take out Kanavi. Kanavi's actually in a little bit of trouble because here comes the rest Jahu's of the here. Team. Oh my god, he missed. Jahu just choked. Oh my god, it's so hard to watch. Not quite able to get him. Oh, it's so sad, bro. It's so sad. Like, uh, this is like such a bad play from JDG and they just get away with it. Oh, man. The chat. Dude, I thought I was immune to Twitch chat this year, but Jesus. The There's always one comment that just gets you. It just makes you just lose your fucking mind. Looking to try and catch out the side of hope as he tries to go forward. He does have flash, but he's not going to use. That's it. hope. And LPL drama because I obviously don't speak, speak Chinese, so everything that I'm doing. Oh wait, this now, is just a kill. Just needs to land the cask. Here we go. He's gonna go for the belly bop. Doesn't quite land it just yet. They will get him in, but there is the slicing. Wait, are we just not ulting here? Are we just not ulting, bro? And they won't get the wait, he did ulti. Wait, when did he ulti? Am I missing something? I must have missed his ulti. If, if Ben is maxing E, he's trolling. But yeah, I mean, he, what should happen there is he should just, as soon as he hits the Q, he should just ulti 369 back, and then he should just E afterwards. And they should just one shot him. They're going to try and donate this one over to Gala. They should be able to do comment too much on that. But ultimately. So you see Bin potentially this is hard, in trouble. Though. This is very difficult for them to make it work, but missing will go in with the Glacial Augment. They're going to That's not a good ulti there. Down. It's just so much single target CC. There's not really a lot you can and do Bin's there. Gragas looks super whack. Well. The next match is the finals, yeah, and that it's not double elimination. Not or he might think that uh, Karsa is still on top. I mean, there's a bunch of different directions, right? Like, you, I, I can't tell from just that Twitch comment. But something is something is misinterpreted, for sure. Can they get any more resets? They are trying to chase down this JDG jungler, and they will be able to get up there after this play yeah Finn this isn't a good spot for you he's he hasn't even got tank stats like he couldn't even survive for long enough he's got a lost chapter and as I say that we're gonna see the mid lane Gala feeling confident as he pushes forward oh missing as well a little bit of trouble oh my there. god gonna lead to nothing, Gala Filios can you carry this game so you've got no teammates but can so you carry it is perfect on to Gala there's the hostile takeover but it's not enough to save this fight as I say that oh that, wait the ease on is I don't think I've seen that tech it was really bad, bro. It's a really bad stopwatch, but I don't know if I've seen that. Oh, good. Well played from Way there. Way actually smurfed that. Way actually smurfed that. All right, will Gragas be useful or will, will Bin? Okay, I'm just watching Bin. I want to see if Bin plays this fight well or if he just completely chokes it. They are really finding a flank angle. 
gonna come down to the smite. Here we go. Both junglers are there. It's a smite fight, but it's not. Okay, Gala gets it again. Secured by the Afelio. I mean, it's a cloud. Really it's a cloud soul. He didn't get the position. Oh, right the Gala missed. If he hit that with all of his chakrams, he actually would have been able to do a decent amount of damage to Leona. I mean, I think that if if LPL continues playing at this level, I think that it's possible that either G2 or TL could beat them. I'm assuming TL goes. Oh, they kill him. One shot him. Oh, now he can play Hecarim. This is so good for them. They, they can win the game off this. Okay, I guess we get a game four. Look to try and make this one work. The heal onto missing is good to keep him alive for now. The flash has been. Man, Hope just keeps on ulting in weird directions. Like I know he's trying to reaction R, but like you want to reaction R and still keep your feathers forward so you can pull them afterwards. They can head towards it. They did use a lot of tools, but they still have the hostile take. Three six nine. They catch him out, and they're going to be able to push him back. He will be taken out. Like spring of of 2020, I thought JDG was just the best in the world. The met the like kindred the kindred uh, graves meta with Kanavi he was so good at those champions. I mean the thing is Gala is untouched here so it's like actually not that bad that it went like this. Oh but Gala actually got flashed on my hope. Oh that's it that's it that's GG. Is running away with this fight I will say though hope does a hell of a lot of damage but not as much as this Viego this game. Game is all but done. The heartbreaker over the side. Uh, they just go elder. Yeah, I don't mind them even going five mid. I I, I don't mind the five mid at all. Gala, bro, Jesus, he just one shot him. Where did he go? Excuse. Okay, Gala. Okay, Gala. Jesus. Bro, Gala is just a Chad sometimes. He literally just walked into the whole enemy team and just killed the AD. Look at his start of potential reverse sweep with a very convincing win. Bro, Gala just walked into the whole enemy team and just killed the AD. One to RNG. Sorry, sorry, RNG. To JDG. And now we actually might see... Oh, dear. They might be a little bit overzealous here and trying to go for this. Well, I stream my games. I will stream my games. What? Now, show him. Either when, like, no competitive leagues are going on. Or just when I, like, feel like it, you know? But generally, I haven't had a good experience. Oh, God. Ming's just dead at level one. That's huge. Hope just comes to lay. In level one with a kill. Uh, I think this is just why it's gonna be a slow game. Right, People are actually so pressed they made a living out of doing what but they want. Wait, they actually killed him? Uh, it sucks that Ming got the kill, but this is a wait, he actually died here. Wait, no. What'd you do? If not streaming? Uh, I have a lot of interest, but I don't know if I would do any of them in a professional capacity. This is a bit of a pinch, though. I don't think you want to be here, JDG. They're going to try and go for this one here, but missing is already dead, and now you're going to get reset. Way oh. lands it. Oh, Way actually smurfed it. Can anyone follow up? Because he's already only level five. He can't. He can't. Instant, <laughs> but that's going to be hope. Losing I mean, I guess he got his flash. He traded flash for flash here for for Way, so that still ends up being good for him. Still ends up being a good play. Yes, this is the RNG. Both supports only level five, though. You got to be careful. Here we go. Full five v five. They're gonna land the hook. The they just go on to Ming. They know they can just one shot him. But Hope is a little bit trouble here. Shahu tries to get on top of him. We'll have to go back to his. I mean, they need a reset. The He's got a reset. And the resets are all coming in. This is the RNG that want to fight over Harold. This is the RNG that feel comfortable. Flash, belly bop, and Yagao has nowhere to go. Like JJ definitely played really well that series. JJ fucking smurfed it. Yeah, the group up is gonna be a lot closer than they think. Here we go. They're gonna. Oh, Ming's in there. This is going to be so f***ing big. Oh, that was kind of weird. Oh, no way. Actually, timed his ult wrong. Oh, my God. If he just wasted... If he just waited on his ult to kill Kanavi, they just, like, he gets a reset on Kanavi, and then they just carry the fight, but he just mistimed his ulti. So he pushed out that top side. Now he's kind of trying to push in here. We will see the dredge line land. Is it trying to get a bit of single target CC down? They are going to get the knock Oh, he mistimed it. Gollum mistimed it here. to take him out. He will have to be using his ult and his heal. I mean, they're just not here for the Drake. I don't know what to say. They're just not here. Uh, we're just not flashing. Vin's just not flashing until he's already dead. What is this? Jahu's just running it down? Oh man, it's just gross, bro. I don't know why they're just never on an objective. Oh, they're looking for to try and get on top of 369, but the maw keeps him alive. Dude, how does this Nautilus hook hit, by the way. You have Rift Herald here now for RNG. Your guy was trying to take a reset. You should be able to get it off now. As I say that, he might be in a little bit of trouble. Yes, he is. There's the Spirit Rush coming out. They're tanking up. He's going to flash away. The Everfrost just keep him down. Ming is just tanking everything up four days. He's dead. TP, but I don't know if that's going to be enough. I mean, I don't, this is not a TP you want, by the way. Charm available here. The Viego's going to come back in. They're going to Heartbreaker back on top of him, and he's going to be taken down. You feel like the Mama Mori is just doing work, and he's keeping himself alive, but for how long? Not long enough. And now we're going to 
see Gala having to go into his ultimate to Something keep him. Both teams 5v5. Faker more famous than LeBron business. James? Dragon Hell no. Not even close. What? We were just talking about as Bin and Shao who pushed themselves forward. Gala, like literally not even close. Right there has to use his ultimate as the charm comes in on top of me. Oh uh, man, this is, a, this is a, another down. terrible fight for RNG. He tries to just keep something going for his team. He knocks back Yigao. He's doing as much as he can. He W'd over the wall to get distance and then he flashed over too. And then Yigao has to like waste ult charges on him. Now, 4v5 Ends up actually buying a lot of time. Well played for Ming. Will they see another engage? Bin looking to try and maybe make something work. They're trying to go on top of it. Shao, who's going to try and find Yagao? But he yeah, won't they just be able lose. to get it. And Bin goes down. There's nothing he can do. Oh, just Shao, who might be in a lot of trouble. But, ooh, nicely done there. He had a spidey sense that something was up. Also, Aaron basketball Zamini. is just not boring. I don't know why you'd say basketball is boring. That's just, like, objectively wrong. I don't know. Try and keep his missing support a little bit more safer. Shao, who okay, the they're, okay, do they get a reset? They get a reset. Oh, my God, they can win. He's free hitting with the fence. Oh, my God, they win. Win. Wait, they just win the whole game off this. They got the fight. They got the resets. Way actually just can he can actually do work. Bro, I don't even know how. How did how does chat come up with these types of statement? Like, how can this even be? Like, I don't know. How can everyone? How could anyone even think that? Faker is more popular than LeBron James. What? Hey, Wade needs to eat the wall here. But that's so much harder to cut through. Oh, 369. 369. He's rolling a three. That's a they want to keep applying that pressure. One misstep could be a mid oh. Missing goes in. Does land a hook with the Freathers. Get drawn back. And that's the big misstep. You force a mistake. And they get onto the back side. Hope has nothing left. He has to reset onto himself. But he can't get back onto the fountain quick enough. The ignite is good. And Absolute this bang is a game can happen from RNG. It was so close. Such a back and forth. But RNG. Two games deep to the yeah, double reverse sweep, maybe. I respect the the, uh, the lurkers. Oh, he he won the smite. It's actually winnable. Bin can help him. Zhao is here. Gala already killed. Oh my God, is RNG just gonna win? Bin Bin gets the kill. Your gal is just dead. Should have given that kill to Bin, but all good, all good. They lose a little bit of experience, but it's overall good. Wait, bot lane died as well. Wait, somebody bot lane. Wait, Gala died as well. So maybe it's not that good on the bot side. And there's trade offs to this. Like taking this fight, top lane for RNG, they they lose part of the wave, which matters for Bin's laning. So this is like a conscious sacrifice. And then you see like Jahu just predator up here, just not giving a. F literally, literally, look at the mid wave. Look at the mid wave. It's under his turret, and he says, F it, I'm coming top. And then your gal is like, F it, bro, I'm coming top too, bro. We got to make it to this fight. Man, if, if this is a situation where if Bin had E, oh my god. Would have been crazy. He's dead. Wait, so the solution to, to make RNG good again is all you needed to do was have Xiaohu become crying. <laughs> my god, man. It, it is a crazy trade-off. Wait, this is actually really good. They kill him. Oh, they have the Galio. Wait, this is actually such a nice rotation. You know who would love this? Vagar V2. I mean, you have no Galio for this, so it's not the easiest fight in the world. Hey, they get Missing's Flash, but there's no Taunt. They have to be pretty careful here. I think RNG needs to, like, back off this. Momentarily, at least. Oh, they actually got it. Oh my god, Bin got the ulti. Bin's into the back line. Way has ult, way has ult. Okay. Oh man, big, big, big. Big from RNG. Huge. Actually, stolen votes. Wow, wow, Ming actually eat in there. I feel like eating in here is really bad for Ming, but let's see. As Ming goes golden to try and keep himself alive in stasis. Now, here comes the Aurelia. I mean, maybe he just he's willing to die to just go for this fight. Oh no, Wei is I don't know, I really don't like it. Oh no. They threw the whole game. Wait, Ming threw the whole game. Why? Why, Ming? Why? Why did you throw the whole game? For what reason, bro? So look at look at the positioning now where Bin is. Where Bin doesn't have to run in front to back. And Jao could potentially ult onto him. And Gala is just stacking chakrams. Gets your Gao with that. That's huge. I mean, this is going to be a, a pretty good fight for RNG, I think. Based off the setup, I think it's going to be pretty good. 
right here on the side of RNG. It will yeah, be look, look at the back line. Look at the back line. Look at how much space Bin has. With the solar flare coming down. Well, we'll catch out Bin. didn't end up going as perfectly. All right, it ends up being three for three for two. But look, we literally got to see exactly what I said. That was nice. That was nice. That's exactly what I was talking about a minute ago. It's how when you fight in these open spaces, how much better the fight looks for you. It was actually perfect. So Xiaohu hovering between... Uh, I, so I really like this, right? So Xiaohu has ult, so he hovers between the three and the one so that he can ult to either side no matter what happens. Also, Gala just completely one-shot uh, Hope again. RNG are just smacking them down, and we're going to see a fight coming in. This could be the final moment for JDG if they're not able to win it. Double tower turned off as Trumdo will Oh, my God. Dude, this is actually a good game for RNG. Their best game was this game, for sure. They still made one, like, colossal mistake in the game, but it was pretty clean. I mean, uh, very few teams are going through games flawlessly. Like, even T1's having, like, normally one mistake a game. So, this was a, this was a solid game. I was happy with this game. Uh, if they played like this, I would be more confident. I like I like that RNG won. I was hoping RNG uh, won that. So nice. RNG moves to winner bracket uh, finals.